Hey guys, what's up? So we have a new hero on Advanced Server, and he is called Jin, the Kung Fu Genius. He is a melee fighter that deals physical damage. So who does he look like? Based on his story, he is possessed by an evil god called Lie. Yu Zong wanted to kill Yin, but Wan Wan stopped it because he is Wan Wan's childhood friend. Aww. The story is a bit similar to Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen, where he got possessed by Sukuna. Anyway, let's check out his skills. His first skill enhances his next basic attack while granting him movement speed for 2 seconds. His next basic attack will deal more damage and it can hit enemies at the back. The enemies at the outer range will receive true damage. The range can reach the enemy heroes hiding at the back. His second skill dashes forward while dealing damage to its path. It also leaves a ring that will catch up to Yin after one second. Enemies that are in the path of the ring will be stunned. His ultimate can pull a single enemy hero to a different dimension just like this. The dimension gives him a chance to go one on one with his target. Other heroes can't affect them and the duration lasts up to 12 seconds. Upon entering, he also transforms to Lie, the evil god that possessed him. The cooldown of his non-ultimate skills will reset upon entering. He also gains a new effect on his first skill. It will smash an area 10 times while slowing the target. His second skill remains the same. If he manages to kill the enemy inside his ultimate, he will teleport back to the battlefield while in the F4. It also enables him to use his enhanced skill on the battlefield. The cooldown of his skills will reset when entering and leaving the other dimension. So this means Yin can use continuous skills because of the reset. Next is his passive skill. It grants him 25% increased damage when there are no allied heroes nearby. And it applies to both basic attacks and skills. Here is an example. Damage is 159 when my teammate Leila is near. When I move the enemy to a new location, the damage increases to 198. So his passive works well with his ultimate because he can solo the enemy. So far I think he's pretty good. He can be played as a fighter or assassin since he shines more on one-on-one -on -one fights. His first skill is great for poking at a distance against those ranged enemies. And his ultimate is really like the domain expansion from Jujutsu Kaisen. Here is what it looks like when two enemies use domain expansion. They disappear on the battlefield, but they're still visible in the minimap. We give meaning to life. So what can you say about the new hero Yin? Is Yin overpowered or just balance? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.